everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some No Man's Sky. So, as I was talking about last time, I'm just going to buy sodium instead of just trying to go around and farm it for the sodium nitrate that I need. I always need sodium, right? And so, I have plenty of money. Let's just buy a bunch of it. You know, there's no reason... Yeah, oxygen too. There's no reason to just not have what we need here. There we go. Even cobalt. Look, I could buy that here too. Ferrite dust? Yeah. Everything you have. Let's buy all this stuff. Great. And then, do I need anything else? I need antimatter. Um, but that's not actually too tough. So let me go in here. Um, my bag is full, but I'm going to kick all of these over to the starship. Um, actually, wait, what am I doing? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go here and sell these pearls. Yeah, look at that. There are 110,000 for those pearls that I pulled off of this planet. I mean, that's great. Uh, they're in the green, which I think that means like they're you're making money on the sale, like you're getting a good trade rate, and red means you're getting hosed or whatever. I, I, I could be wrong about that, but I think that's how that susses. Perfect. All right, now we cleared up a bunch of space. I need ionized cobalt, and let's just put that in the backpack. And then now, um, I need more sodium nitrate. So I'm going to move this, but I'm going to change the stack size. I'm only going to put in, like, this many <laughs> and get that going. And then all I need to do is craft myself antimatter, which just needs uh, chromatic metal and condensed carbon so that's not hard except I'm missing 10 chromatic metal um, and that's kind of a shame I don't that's usually not something you can actually buy like none of these I don't think any of these materials will refine into that sometimes you can buy antimatter from people who are parked with a ship um, but not all the time. Who's coming in? Anybody coming in for a landing? Yeah, look at this guy. Perfect. Oh, there's more than one. Hello, can I talk to you? No, I want to talk to this dude. Hey, man, how you doing? Um, I want to buy stuff. You got any... Ooh, he's got actually a Gek Relic. I wonder if I could buy that and then give it to a Gek and then just raise my standing. That's really tempting. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to just use my money to, like, solve my problems. I'm just going to throw money at the problem. Contridium? This can't be refined into chromatic metal, can it? I don't think so. Oh no, that guy left. Stop leaving. That guy's parked for like two seconds. No, he parked. Those park times are grossly inadequate. Alright, let me go to my my catalog of uh, chromatic metal. And it's copper, cadmium, emerald, and indium. Okay, well then, touche. That's it. I thought there might be a little bit of a more reasonable swing on that. Anyway, let me um, talk to this guy and be like, hey, how you doing? I'm going to give you this gift. He accepts it with gratitude. And I increase my standing with the Gek. And then let me see if that actually registers with the quest itself that I was doing. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, 
increase your standing. Yep, it did. One of two. So all I now need to do is just turn this mission in. That's amazing. Actually, what I'm going to do is just... Uh, as soon as any ship lands here, I'm going to go accost them and buy, buy whatever they have. Like if they have a Gek Relic, if they have metal, anything. Can you solve my problems? Hello, my friend. Trading. Yes, yes, trading. Can I buy items from you? He has silver, which is good. Silver doesn't actually turn into... Um, chromatic metal, I don't think, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got copper or anything? He has star bulb and frost channel. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay. So let me go see if we're giving another Gek Relic. We'll just finish off my standing. Because I don't want to, like, go turn in this mission and have it actually not work. That would be... Less than ideal. Yep, I did it. That is amazing. Find a life form to ask about your location. Can I ask you about my location? Um... No, I need to find somebody else then. Uh, how do I do that? I bet there'll be a red thing that will just appear, right? As a quest tracker. Alright. So, is there any copper on this planet? Well, yes, there is. And it's actually pretty close. It's not too far away. There's, the uranium is closer, but... Um, now, I lost the drop pod, but I know it's over there. That's where they want me to go. Okay, I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to get this drop pod. And I'm going to make sure that I don't botch this, because I've bought all the materials for it. It's just a matter of getting copper. should be right here, right? Where'd it go? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I lose it somehow? Maybe it's a little bit further over this way. I'm gonna land. I'm just gonna land. There's something. Whoa, this is like the scariest landing sequence that I've ever seen. Um, Alright, well, here's Sentinels, if I want them, I guess. This was not where I was trying to go. Does the drop pod show up anywhere? There it is. It's still, it's still marked, just not when I was in my ship. Okay, thank, mercifully. That's great, okay. Let's get this thing, and let's try to find some along the way. There's uranium, there's cobalt, and there's copper. That is very far away for copper. But here's copper right by us. Super close. Well, wait a minute, it said it was right here, right? Where'd the copper go? It's supposed to be here? Uh. Does anyone see copper? I don't. Maybe it's down here inside the, the earth somewhere? Nah, that was a, that was bogus. It was a bogus copper, but I did see some kind of metal on my way over here. So uranium, copper, copper, uranium. 
now. Cobalt, copper. That's... It's sad, really. But I'll have to go get this copper that's really far away. Alright. I'm not untagging that drop pod because I don't want to lose it. And I'm not getting my ship either because I'm too stubborn. Alright, Copper, you're there? Alright, I see you. And I don't want to lose that either. I've broken my legs. Alright, so did we get the sodium nitrate? We did. Now it's just a matter of condensed carbon. All right, so let me go to my cargo, and let me just pick up some of this. Um, I don't know how much I'll need, but let's put this in here. All right, copper, I know you're around here. There you are. We're going to do some crazy moves with the jetpack. Alright, and we're going to run. Alright, Copper, where are you? Okay, I can't lose you. Alright, let's get to the top of this ridge. Life support power. Come on now. And then, all right, we will charge the life support. That's why we want all that oxygen. Wait, 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 where's my copper? No, 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 no. there was copper closer. Where'd it go? Don't do this to me. Don't be another phantom copper. It's at my feet. Oh, it's right here. It's this lump. Please be enough copper here. We only need 10 chromatic metal. This is a lesson. I should just be carrying these ingredients around for drop pods wherever I go. All right. Did we get it? Did we make enough copper? How much copper do we have? Oh, yeah. Perfect. What's going on here? Alright. Put it in the backpack and then just drop in the copper. And then by the time we get back to the drop pod, we'll be set. These are the days when I can get another inventory slot. I'm feeling quite pleased. Oh boy. I bounced wrong there. Alright, try this again. Run, and then just go... Yeah, do that. I'm moving faster than a starship. Ooh, unidentified? Identify it. Looks yummy. this and then I'm going to go here I'm just going to put that in my backpack and then we're just going to craft um, antimatter and then this should do it it's Fred Fred how are you don't mind me I'm here for this Yeah. I think this is pretty good. 
I know I should purchase some more cargo slots soon, but I like having them on the main screen. Now, where do I need to go for this? Oh, they want me to go off-world. Sweet Moses. All right, how far away is my ship? All right, that's too far. We're going to just bring it in. My radiation protection isn't going to stand for this. I'm going up. We're going to the stars. Blast off. Potential assistance. Let's go ahead and lock on. We're going as fast as we can. Three seconds. I'm at a direct collision course for this. We're going through the clouds. I'm going to hit this trading ba platform so hard. The autopilot is like, oh my goodness, you're fine. And here we go. Oh my gosh, is this my man? Hello. As I approach the life form, their beak begins to click. A strange gas issuing forth. It is unclear if Artemis's translator is working. Ask for information about this star system. The life form shakes their head, disappointed in me. I try to resist smelling their gas, but the odor permeates my exosuit vents, even my life support system. I am filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. Um, resist offering units. The life form begins to hold their breath, their entire complexion changing. A greeting without units I could forgive, but a demand for information? Do you think trade geck knowledge is freely earned? You insult us all. Um, bargain. Of course, Trade Federation, please to establish new customer. Friend, please pass me the data for examination. Here's my star chart. I asked the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis's location. Your data appears to be fabricated, friend, or possibly corrupted. No such location exists. A uh, ask if they could have made a mistake. The Gek is offended. They say they will give me a low rating on the Trade Federation database for my impertinence. I apologize and leave. Well. Thanks for that, you meanie. Alright, I've been here before. I've visited these folk. There's the broker. He doesn't want to visit with me. Except as my... F oh, no, wait. Cool. Yeah, dialect help, please. Um... Let's go with, uh, friendship. Benevolent. Oof. I mean, I don't want to say no thanks, but I don't know how often I'm going to use that one. All right, well, whatever. Let's get into space and figure out what's going on. Spin wildly there we go incoming message from Artemis there you are 
I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Um, the multi-tool thing might have to wait. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Um, how'd you get there? As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they're altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment, a sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. Uh, what's happening? They're coming to for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I... I was so wrong. I... I could see their faces. There are seeds of glass within there. Um... The glyphs? They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... Sixteen, warn your face. Please, not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register ID. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Alright. So... Bring news of the Artemis signal to Nada in space. Summon the anomaly from the quick menu. Wow. It's getting bad here, huh? The anomaly was here already, but I could summon it, sure. And let's just get on board. Let's let it all happen. thing is pretty amazing. It's like the anti-Death Star. Alright. What's in these tanks? Fish? Fizzy lifting drink? What you got in there? All right. I'll tell you what I don't have very much of is uh, Quicksilver. I have 150. You're the guy that trades for it, right? Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Nice eyeballs. All right. Create exotic items. Yeah, sure. What can I do? I can make nothing. Um, oh, it's just like a... Are these all cosmetic? I can make this. Personal flair. Alright. You can get titles. Decorations. Oh, cool. You can get, like, chromatic starship trail. That is amazing. A little figurine for the interior. Like a bobblehead. Wow. A battle helmet. A pocket reality generator. A sweet helmet. Man, this stuff is awesome. The disbelief gesture. I like it. A small aquarium. Wow, there is a lot of stuff here. That's really cool, but I have hardly any Quicksilver, so... Hey, how's it going? Young one. 
Yeah, I'll give you all my flower data. Thank you. You have no idea what this means to me. Yeah, look at that. 145 nanites just for flowers. You make me want to get all the flowers. All right. Um, nobody's working here. How are you? How is it going? Um, transmit milestone data. Oh, ho, ho, 450 nanites. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready to purchase upgrades. Um, what you got? What you got? You got anything really nice? Um, you have... The Exocraft Acceleration Module. Boost tank capacity and boost power, huh? Well, I'm already probably full up on those. Fuel efficiency and top speed. Yeah, I want Exocraft, trust me. Mm. I could do with some higher level items. B's and C's. Come on now. Let's go talk to Nada. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity Signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis's location. I explain their strange messages, Apollo, and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process the information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis entity still does not remember Nada. Say they did not. This is a puzzle. A trap? Or a tragedy? Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada, more puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Korvax say, Deity, Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Um, okay... Oh, I got a bunch more Quicksilver. Speak with Polo and other life forms about black holes, Atlas stations. Okay. Boundaries are strange things, traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. Other things are home, Atlas. And now Artemis friends slip between. Curious. Um... Ask about portals. Just devices, traveler friend, to be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with this universe, yes? Appreciate it. Okay. Um, what about black hole coordinates? Of course, friend, a whole galaxy for you, just for you. You must see it all. Okay, and what about the Atlas stuff? It... I will do it, friend, but please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. Okay. Interesting. So now what? What's going on with my log? Um, locate and activate a hollow terminus. So I need to go try to talk to... The Apollo entity. Which is perhaps different from Artemis, perhaps not? I don't know. But I do know that it's not going to be on here. Alright, everybody, well, we were able to get the Gex standing, get an inventory slot, talk to Artemis, although it was a harrowing discovery, 
speak with Nada and Polo on the Space Anomaly, and now we are going to go find a Hollow Terminus to speak with Apollo. And we will do that in the next episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play No Man's Sky here at the end of 2020, and I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time when we get to the bottom of this and hopefully get ourselves an attendant for our base so we can work on upgrading that and getting some Exocraft to drive around. All right, everybody. Take care.